Hey, check it out, sweetheart. I'm gonna do a video in the dark. Oh, that's cool, baby. I know, honey. I'm just... I'm cool like that. Yes, you are. I can't wait to get home to make sweet, sweet love to you. Okay, baby. Shut up so I can make a video now. Okay, baby. What's going on, boys and girls? It's old BBD. What in the hell is that? Coming to you at you. Live from the roads of uh, the thriving metropolis of Green Vegas, Tennessee. Some interesting articles today. And uh, some interesting other stuff today that I have perused. The Colin Coward article, show, speech, rant, whatever about Butch Jones being the coach on the hottest seat, as opposed to Jim Mora from UCLA being the coach on the hottest seat. Uh, Colin Coward, on his show, The Herd, or as I like to call it, The Turd, went off on Butch Jones. He, he didn't really go off on him, but, you know, he, he made his point vehemently clear that he thinks Butch Jones should be the coach on the hottest seat. But, uh, there was an article written about that show by, um, ah, eh, crap, I forgot. Forgot who wrote the article, but it doesn't really matter. And they basically were just talking about what Coward said, and, uh, they, they wrote the article like he just went totally off on Butch Jones and blasted, you know, just, just really giving the business. But I watched the six minute little clip of, uh, the herd and him going off on Butch Jones, as they said. And I didn't think he went off on Butch Jones. He just voiced his opinion. And who's to say he's wrong? Now, a couple of things he said that I disagree with. Uh, he said that if Tennessee loses... Well, first of all, he said if Tennessee loses to Georgia Tech, the Regents will gather Sunday morning... And I'm assuming by that he meant the powers that be, or maybe whatever. Everybody will gather Sunday morning after the game and they will be calling for Butch's head. Well, first of all, the game is played on Monday night. So if the regents are going to gather, it'll be Tuesday morning. And he also said that uh, if Tennessee loses to Georgia Tech and Florida in those first three weeks that he will be fired in week three. I disagree with that. I just don't think Tennessee will fire Butch mid-season. And that wouldn't even be mid-season, you know? That would be freaking quarter season. How's that for some quick math? Yeah. Call me a stupid hillbilly some mo. Now, anyway... You know, I've been quoted as hating Butch Jones. Or not hating him, but being pretty pissed off at him. Thinking that he should be... I don't know if I ever said I thought he should be fired or not. But yeah, I probably have. I've probably been pretty pissed at him before. With some of his bonehead coaching decisions. But anyway... What do you think, Tennessee fans? Or, or even non-Tennessee fans that are just football and college football fans. Do you think Butch Jones is on the hottest seat in college football? What say you, my people? Okay, baby, you can talk now. Okay. I'm not pulling that one off, am I, guys? Well, I'm back home now anyways. 
and I could go in here and play you the video of Colin Coward. I like to call him Coward instead of Cowherd or Cowherd. Look at me. Why am I? What an idiot. I just turned into my driveway and at my house I pull around and park behind my house. So I pull in my driveway and when I get to the back of my house I put my right turn signal on. Oh jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay real quickly about the Florida thing. I've had so many people. It's up in the hundreds of thousands now that have asked me and sent me letters and texts and emails and tweets and twats and twoots and faxes and all kinds of things wanting to know my opinion about the dudes getting uh, suspended at Florida for the Michigan game. Uh, most prominently the receiver Callaway. I don't care. I do not care. It's for one game. And I agree wholeheartedly with Uncle Lou. He said that, you know, if it had been you or I doing it, we'd be looking at a three-year stretch in the damn uh, pokey. But anyway, I'm going to go in here and take care of uh, some of this grub I just got. I've had a really weird day today. I've been having some kind of... Uh, uh, feeling some type of way, as they like to say these days. But anyway, uh, go balls, screw y'alls, and go cards, mow yards, and this Friday, the devils are going to break out the levels against Dobbins Bennett. You're going down, Indians. You're going down.